Okay, so in this Revit tutorial, I want to take a look at one more form. The first form that we're going to take a look at, we're just going to add in some walls right now on our first floor. And I'm just going to come across and we're going to use a semi circular building for this. So I'm just going to use my arc radius and I'm going to come back across and I'm going to use this as our form. So our form is actually a semicircle. And I just want to move this out of the way of the other two forms that we looked at in a previous tutorial. And just in case you're not familiar, I do want to move out. These are my callouts that generate my elevations. So I want to make sure we move that well out of our way as well so it doesn't distort our elevation view. So if we come back up here to the roof tool, roof by footprint, and we'll make sure that roof is at level two again. And we'll use our pick walls. We're going to leave the overhang with a two foot offset. And here's my overhang here, as well as my overhang that we now see in the sketch here. And so if I just use the two of these together, because I want to create a shed roof in this format, I do need to use my slope arrows. So I'm going to select on the slope arrow now. And I'm just going to come out, wait till Revit gives me my midpoint symbol. And I'm just going to draw my slope arrow in this direction, sloping the building roof. And then I can control the height over here in my properties menu. So right now that height is just 10 feet. And if I leave that alone and we just hit our green check mark, let's come back to our 3D view. So now you can see that shed, that shed roof. And I'm going to remember if we just come back up to attach the top and select that roof again, you'll now see that that the perimeter walls extend up to that roof. Now, very quickly, I do want to demonstrate one other thing here. So I'm actually going to copy this building form over. And I want to go back to my 3D view just to make sure that we only copied over the building footprint and not the roof. So now if we go back to level two and we're going to put a different roof on this one here. I'm going to come back to my roof by footprint. And I am going to use my pick walls for this first one. But for the rest of the boundary, I want you to remember that this is just a sketch tool. So I can continue to manipulate this as much as I need to to get the roof footprint that I'm looking for. So if I wanted this to just be rectangular, instead of following the form of my building, I could just sketch that out here using my kind of O tracks if you're familiar with AutoCAD. So now I have the form once again. And remember, if I want this to be a shed roof, we just need to make sure we use our, our slope arrow as well while we're still in here. And I can control that height and I'm going to leave that 10 foot once again. So let's go ahead and finish this. Now you'll see both of these shed roofs as opposed to the initial tutorial where I did do two curved flat roofs. It's kind of cutting through at the roof plan view and that's controlled by our view range. So I'm just very quickly going to modify that here in my properties. And so for the top of our view, I'm going to make that unlimited and the cut height in the second floor plan for what I'm going to use as roof. I'm just going to go ahead and give myself like a 20 foot cut height above that two second floor. And I'm just going to hit apply. And now you'll see both of these roof geometries are no longer cut through because we're cutting that second floor height well above that sloped shed roof at this point. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. I wanted to take one more look at our 3D view. Remembering that I can select this roof and go ahead and attach that to that form once again. So if I come back to my level one and I'm just going to give us a camera view looking at both of these semicircular building forms with the two different roof types.
So that's pretty much all we have here. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful in resolving any question you may have at this point. Please subscribe to the Smarter Architect YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks and have a great day.